our school, we differentiate, we talk about differentiated instruction all the time in our, in our staff development, in our pedagogy. Uh, we specifically talk about it in terms of content, process, and product. Uh, we are looking at ways to differentiate content without having to uh, really redesign the curriculum. And Study Island allows that to happen. Teachers can go in easily and uh, click on the standards that they've just taught, uh, eliminate standards that they've yet to teach uh, so that students can still get the quality instruction appropriately and then go and get that guided practice on their own. I've already recommended Study Island to a number of schools in our, in our district, uh, in, in the region. I've had uh, other principals call me and ask how it's worked because we're, we're so strapped for available funding, we don't have the luxury of experimenting with programs, uh, especially those that cost uh, a significant amount of your budget. Um, we have to be very um, stringent on how we use categorical funding. Uh, in the state and so to not, we, we don't have a lot of luxury to uh, shop around. We have to go with a proven product and so people do call me. I have recommended it and so far I've only heard good things from other schools that have used it. Because it's such a flexible tool that can be used in so many different ways, it's starting to evolve into an opportunity to go back. Our resource specialist has uh, access to the internet in her classroom and can target strands or we can use this in conjunction with good teaching. It doesn't replace intervention. It doesn't replace good teaching. What it does is it complements and gives students more practice where the classroom instruction, there's so much content that has to be covered in a year that teachers have a difficult time going back over and over again as many times as students need to learn that skill successfully. Uh, Study Island provides that in a highly motivating way. One of the things that we've done by working with parents in our English language advisory committee is getting feedback on understanding that the context of learning, the context of the questions doesn't always translate in the first attempt to various cultures. And so it's very important that the parents get to see what the testing looks like. And our standardized testing, you get one look and that's only for the students and you don't get to have many uh, conversations about what testing looks like, how their child's gonna be measured. So one of the things that this has opened up is a lot of conversations about the context of how we're gonna test students and what they need to know. And that's been very powerful. Our English language learners have basically closed the gap the achievement gap between our school-wide score of 820 on the Academic Performance Index and our English language learner population have scored last year at 818. At James Madison, we have a computer lab and uh, currently our computer lab is available for word processing, um, doing reports, searching the internet, and one of the main uh, opportunities for students is through Study Island. 